Hey guys, Anthony here with a video review on Audacity. Audacity is a free open source audio recorder and editor that I use often. I'm using the latest Windows version 2.1.2 at the time of recording this video. But Audacity also runs on Mac OS X and Linux. Audacity is packed with a ton of features and functionality and there's no way I can cover everything in this video review, but I'll focus on some of the key features and functionality. First off, it has a customizable user interface with a variety of toolbars that can be easily moved around. You can record audio or a voiceover using this record and playback toolbar. To do so, you just click on the record button, record your audio, apply your effects and filters, and then save the file. You can import and edit multiple tracks of audio, like so and then save them as one audio file. There are many audio effects and filters that you can use, so let's take a look at some of them. One of the main reasons I use Audacity is for the background noise removal. Let me show you a quick example. This is a sample recording of a hum in the background. These are the before and after audio tracks. Notice the background noise in the top track, which has been removed in the bottom track. You can check this video tutorial on how to remove background noise. You can also apply various audio effects to enhance the quality of your audio. The compressor effect reduces the dynamic range of the audio, which is the difference between the loudest and the softest part in an audio recording. In simple terms, it evens out the volume of the audio. The normalize effect sets the peak amplitude that is increases or decreases audio so the loudest point is at a certain level. The amplify effect changes the overall volume of selected audio tracks. With the equalization effect, you can enhance your audio with a bass and treble boost. And the limiter effect helps control the peak threshold and volume of the audio. I particularly like the silence audio tool to remove unwanted sounds in the audio. Another useful feature is the audio auto duck. This is before the auto duck, and this is after the auto duck has been applied. This is a great feature when you have a voiceover and background music playing, for example. When you download Audacity, you will not be able to export audio in MP3 format. Due to software patents, Audacity cannot include MP3 encoding software. But you can install the lame third party encoder to export mp3 files in Audacity, you can check this tutorial on how to do so. If you're using Audacity on Windows 10 and get an internal port audio error, you may want to ensure that you're using the latest drivers. You can also check this informational article on the issue, you'll find the link in the description section. Make sure to download Audacity directly from the official Audacity site to avoid malware and spyware. Again, check the link in the description section. You will also find an extensive Audacity online manual to help you with detailed explanations of features and functionality. Well, hope you found this review useful. I've created several Audacity tutorials, so feel free to check them out. And thanks for watching.